I've got a little layer job to do for the lad here. I do quite a bit of work for this lad. And <laughs> you can tell he really, he really is good with his drones. There's no expense spared. Basically, it's a top hat, top hat bush. The important diameter as of the 16 mil for that one, and that hole through there is going to be 10 mil ream. It's actually a guide for a reamer. Uh, so it's straightforward enough. I've got a piece of simple piece of bar there, all straightforward turning work. The interesting part will be reaming the hole, and you want a knurled finish on the on the outside edge of that. I'm going to use the collar chuck because it's already on. So you need the chuck length is going to be 40, 50 mil. And a bit to part off, so we'll make it have 60 stick and all that'll be plenty. That's one thing with a collar chuck, it's, it does run reasonably true straight out of the box. There is a little bit of tolerance on this, so I can't tweak the clutch, tweak the collar holder to get it absolutely spot on. But for this sort of work, it's, it's going to be it's going to be good because the part will be taken out of the chuck, it's all machine in one operation. At least the diamond out of that and the ball of that, the important bits are all doing one, one go. A lot of different tool in this tool holder. And the tool needs to be set up centre height. This is probably the best way to do it actually. You machine it, machine the clip off. It's too low. The new centre height, so you want to go up a little bit. It's pretty good. Right, the first dam has a size for the collar, it's 24 mil. This is inch bar. We'll take half a mil off at first, per side. Touch it off. Bring it in. Three. I should take it out of size. This one's not critical because it's going to be knurled anyway. It's a 16 mil, so it's critical. That's 24, 24.03, to the magic clamp. Right, so now we want 8 mil off that for a distance of 40. I'm just going to use a day to mark this out. Zero there, we'll have 40. And 39, I'll have a little bit of clearer to finish it. So I put a mark on, see you on the other axis, and we need to go in 
We need 8 mil, 8 mil off, so that's 4 mil per side. So 1.5 mil cut, so that will take 3 off. I need to make sure that I say now. Seventeen point eight. Take a one mil cut. A half mil cut anyway, which is which will take one mil off it. Where it's 16.4, so the point two should do it. Right, that's dead on. 16 mil. Right, and that's the lens spot on as well. I think the next thing is to do the beam rule all in one, all in one set. That means this down there here has got to be concentric to the beam rule. Just break these edges. I'm going to leave sharp edges because I put my fingers and when I roll it off, when I shove it, it makes people think that you actually care what you're doing. It is a 9.5mm drill, it should be good enough to get the beam off the road like this. All these drills are four balls, that's why that put in so effectively. in the box with the with a reamer. Right, this is a 10mm reamer. Reamers which you run fairly slow, well lubricated and you never ever turn the reamer backwards. Always go forwards. So you seal it down, nice gentle feed. That's cutting quite nicely.
Let's see, we want all the way through. We clean out now, put it away before I do anything else. Along with corresponding corresponding drill. the pot and tool is it a thing is we angle at the job long 10 mil sorry 12 mil no it is 10 we'll take it 11 and we're going to melt the flavor to face it off A little bit of scrap that's in there to make an excellent, excellent little spacer washer or spacer piece for the milling machine. We always keep them bits. In fact, well, the collet's in, I'm just going to quickly face that edge and just count the board with two holes. Right, nailing tools run very slowly, plenty of lubrication, and keep your fingers out of the wheel. fingers and how quick it happens just like that. So I didn't want the brush to go in. Right nailing tools run very slowly, plenty of lubrication and keep your fingers out of the wheel.
Okay, that's a nice sharp nail finish. I'm just going to chamfer those two edges where it's actually rolled it. The nail's rolled across a little bit. I'm sure I'd be happy with that. That's a 10 mil dull pin and it's an absolute dog bollocks fit in there. Perfect. Remas are really good for getting, well that's what they're for, getting dead on size wheels. When I got up for work on uh, Monday morning I had a problem getting water out the tap to have a cup of coffee and later on I found out why. This bit of film, it's not my film, it's a bit of film I took off a news clip. It's actually a bridge, very local to me, and has a high pressure water main burst. So I had to run down there today, which is Sunday, just to see if I could find out what was going on. You can see there's some cars being totally lost under the water there. This is the approach to the bridge, obviously the bridge is now closed. It's still open for cyclists and you can still walk across. I just thought I'd have a look just out of interest just to see what was going on. You can see the, a massive pipe there, it's probably a 24 inch water main which splits into two. The two pipes go across either side of the bridge and it would appear that the right hand ones failed or burst. There's a colossal amount of water being lost and they reckon it's going to be two to three weeks before the bridge is open again. Once again, it's just time to say a massive thanks for watching. As always, thanks for all the well wishes that have come in towards me, my wife Deb and my dad. Uh, really nice it is. Don't forget, if you like what you see, click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Once it's time, once a time, you bell end. Once again, it's just time to say thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And as always, a massive thanks.